Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin 101 and we're going to go down the rabbit hole. Um, now, based off of that title, you might be expecting that I'm going to teach you the basics of Bitcoin. But no, this is a college level class. And a college level class leaves it entirely up to you to show up for class. And it takes more than just a 10 minute video in order for you to go through a college level class. And so what we're going to do in this video today is we're going to talk about some resources that you can find online to learn the basics of Bitcoin. I'm going to give you all of the links that you need and I'm going to give you some resources that go so deep you could actually be reading them for six months or a year uh, before you get through all of the material that they provide. And so I'm going to point you in the direction and how far you go down the rabbit hole is entirely up to you. But I do want you to at least have a basic understanding of Bitcoin, a basic understanding of how to purchase it and acquire it and a basic understanding of the risks involved. And so those are some of the things that we're going to look at today. I'm going to give you resources so that you can look that up and make decisions on your own. So let's get into it. Should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash the like button. Hey, it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithms and the Google algorithms. It makes it really does make a big difference. So I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. And you should take that seriously. It, it, I'm a random to you. I mean, unless you know me personally, and most of the people watching this video do not know me personally. And so I'm a random guy on the Internet. You should take my opinion with a huge grain of salt and do your own research. So that's kind of what I'm going to help you to do. I'm going to show you a number of different web pages on the internet and then in the YouTube channel when you when you click and go to my YouTube video on YouTube, the description will contain links to everything that I show you today so that you can actually drill in and get all of the details. I'm not going to go into the details today. I'm going to, since you're in a college level class today, I'm going to leave it up to you to find out the information. But it actually is pretty simple. All you have to do, pull up this video on YouTube and click on the links to, to drill in and learn more. So I'm just going to give you highlights of what each of the links contains so that you can determine which if any or how many you actually want to get into. Now as always cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss and so carefully consider what you're doing. Make sure that you get yourself educated before you start investing any real money. This paragraph here about investing is wise advice no matter what you're investing into but it is specific because our videos are about cryptocurrency. This is specific to cryptocurrency. So this web page is with Jameson Lopp and he has a, a whole list of stuff for getting started with Bitcoin. Um, this, is, this is only the top part of the paper page, web page. And if you scroll down, you'll find a huge amount of other resources. Um, but as you can see here, he's got some basic first steps, basic facts you need to know, frequently asked questions, picking wallets, securing your wallets, purchasing Bitcoin, don't invest reckless, recklessly. He has the uh, links to the original white paper for Bitcoin written by Satoshi Nakamoto. Um, he has some stuff here to why is Bitcoin hard to understand and more. And so there's a huge amount of information. Now when it comes to Bitcoin 101 and just the basics and getting started, where is the beginning that you should start at? Well, I like this article on Medium and it basically tries to explain Bitcoin like you were five years old. And so one of the things that he talks about in this article is he talks about an example of 
Okay, let's say we're sitting on a park bench and I have an apple. I give you that apple and now I have zero apples and you have one apple. Now that sounds ridiculously simplistic, but that's where he starts and he takes it from there and explains it. Now, if we made that apple a digital apple, how do we keep a record of who has what apples and how do we make sure that somebody isn't creating too many apples when they shouldn't be able to or how do we make sure that somebody like here I gave you an apple but how do you make sure that I don't also give the same apple to five other people and so he kind of starts out really simplistic he does get a little bit deeper but he wrote it in a way that uh, trust me if 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 you have a basic understanding of internet and internet games and that sort of stuff, uh, you'll you'll be able to to it'll make perfect sense to you. And then here's another uh, article that goes into the basics of Bitcoin and explains it. Both of these articles are links on this page, and so. Uh, down here, explain Bitcoin like I'm five, and then Bitcoin explained, illustrative guide in simple terms. Those two links drill into these two articles that I just talked about here. And so this is an illustrated guide, and as you, as you scroll down, he's, he's done a lot of pictures, and he gives you a simple concept, and then you can click on a link to uh, learn more about that concept. And so... Well, really, really well done, and I think that'll be useful if you want to kind of get the basics of what is Bitcoin, how does it work, why was it created, what is it actually doing behind the scenes, etc. So this article is on a website called Bitcoin, um, and this goes into some of the things that you need to know about Bitcoin. If you're getting started with Bitcoin, there are a few things you should know. Bitcoin lets you exchange money and transact in a different way than you normally do. As such, you should take time to inform yourself before using Bitcoin for any serious transaction. Bitcoin should be treated with the same care as your regular wallet or even more care in some cases. And so in this article, they cover the following topics. And this is why I think it would be a good idea for you to take a look at it and learn, you know, learn some of the topics it covers. So the first part of the article talks about how to secure your wallet. It talks about why Bitcoin's price is, well, the fact that Bitcoin's price is volatile. It talks about Bitcoin payments are irreversible. And that's really important, you know, because if you go to a store, maybe you go to Amazon and you're not happy with what you bought at Amazon, you can pretty easily return it. But if you're buying something with Bitcoin, the returnability is entirely up to the other company. Bitcoin payments are not reversible. It's not like you could call your credit card company and say, hey, there was fraud here, reverse that transaction. Well, with Bitcoin, there's no customer service for you to call and say, hey, I need you to reverse that transaction. All transactions are irreversible with Bitcoin. A lot of people think that Bitcoin is anonymous. Bitcoin is not anonymous. There have been a lot of uh, people doing illegal or, uh, well, illegal activities with Bitcoin and they have been arrested because Bitcoin is not anonymous. It's what they call pseudo-anonymous, meaning that anybody who knows a particular address can look at all of the transactions at that Bitcoin address. And so you'll see all of the Bitcoin coming into that address. You'll see all of the Bitcoin going out of that address. And as long as somebody doesn't know who owns the address, in that regard, it's anonymous if they don't know who the owner is. Um, but what's not anonymous is all of the transactions in and out of that address. And what's happened in the past is... Uh, the police and other, other uh, law agencies have figured out who owned a particular address. They watched the transactions. When they saw that the transactions had committed something or done something illegal, they came in and arrested the person because they had a connection between that Bitcoin address and an actual person. And so keep in mind, Bitcoin is not anonymous. Another thing is unconfirmed transactions are not secure. 
when you when you create a transaction on Bitcoin it takes a while for it to get processed and during that processing time where uh, different um, different miners are confirming that address as as the confirmations are cr increasing um, the that particular transaction is still unconfirmed until it has enough confirmations and once it has enough confirmations at that point it becomes irreversible and it is secure but during that confirmation period it isn't secure so Bitcoin is still experimental now I I don't agree a hundred percent with this point but it's in the article it's on the web page and so I wanted to bring it up the main reason why I don't think of Bitcoin as being experimental is when it became valuable to the point of billions of dollars and when it got to the place where institutions or large organizations started getting involved with it you know institutions like Harvard and Yale and MIT and so on are, are investing in Bitcoin or where large companies like the company that owns the New York Stock Exchange, Microsoft and Starbucks start building applications so that people can actually use and deal with Bitcoin. That's when it went, that's when it became no longer experimental in my mind. So, but the article talks about it still being experimental and they have a valid viewpoint. I just don't agree with it. Um, and then government taxes and regulations. This is also a really important area that you need to keep in mind when dealing with Bitcoin. Because currently, if you live in the United States, every time you buy and sell Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, the government considers that a transaction that you may be liable for capital gains or possibly receive a benefit of a capital loss on your taxes and so if you made money they expect you to pay taxes on the money that you made and if you lose money you can deduct a certain amount of that but you need to speak with your uh, tax advisor to get details now this is a article on reddit and you know again it's it's another one of those situations where you're you're listening to somebody you don't know and so I would take it with a grain of salt but I wanted to post it here. It is one of, so really everything I'm showing you right now today are links off of this web page. And so if you want to go to this web page only, you can do that. You don't need the rest of the links. I will be putting the rest of these links in the description. But I wanted to bring up this post because while, while I don't know who famous is, I do know that this information is really, really true and you should really take it seriously. Um, I posted about this just a few months ago, but I feel that it's necessary to repeat. The Bitcoin price is on an unbelievable, ridiculous upswing, which is rather likely to be a bubble. If you're trying to get rich quick by dumping your retirement funds into Bitcoin at $10,000, then your investing strategy is not much better than someone betting everything on a game of roulette. High risk. High reward investing is not necessarily bad, but you have to seriously look at your thought process to make sure that you're not doing one of the following. Now, I only have an excerpt of this article. This, this uh, post on Reddit actually goes quite a bit longer. He went into a lot of detail. Um, and if you're thinking about investing money, especially if you're thinking about investing a significant amount of money, um, he talked about like your retirement account if your investing strategy is not much more than taking and dumping your retirement funds into Bitcoin then you really do need to think carefully about these points and make sure that you understand the risk that you're taking uh, being blinded by dreams of getting rich don't do it getting wrapped up in hodl memes and reddit comments and following the crowd uh, acting based on a panic thinking like oh my god the price is going to a million or oh my god the price is going to zero investing more than you can afford to lose Bitcoin is highly highly speculative the price fluctuates radically you can lose 70 80 90 percent of what you put into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency very quickly as well as gain from it very quickly and so you need to be aware of what you're doing and be very careful. 
All right, so that's our video for today. I hope you found this useful. And, and to be honest with you, I really hope that you'll take the time to drill into some of these different links and become better educated about Bitcoin. I want you to not only get a Bitcoin 101, but I'd love to see you get a Bitcoin degree. Um, and that only happens with taking time to learn more about it. And, and that's not something that happens overnight. That's something that takes hours and hours, weeks, days, months, years, etc. And so, um, and I say years because every day something new is happening in Bitcoin. Uh, if you look at the news or even just cryptocurrency, every day things are going on with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And so you definitely want to stay on top of the news if this becomes a passion of yours and something that you decide to invest in and follow. So anyway, bottom line, how can I be of service to you? Do you have questions? Do you have thoughts? Do you want me to talk more about something in particular? I'd love to hear from you. Uh, please leave your questions, thoughts, comments in the comment sections below. In the meantime, do me a favor and like, subscribe, and hodl. And I hope that you have a fabulous day.